In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an assignment with multiple attachments. I've already gone ahead and logged into Classroom, and I've opened one of my classrooms. I'm going to go down to the plus sign, and I'm going to click Create Assignment. For the title, I'm going to keep the title of the assignment very short. Remember, the title of the assignment eventually becomes the name of the assignment for the student, and on the student side, it actually adds their name to whatever you put here. So you want to keep this short. The description you can go ahead and make longer, and this is a great spot for your directions for your assignment. Let's take a look at how I've written the instructions for this particular assignment. Now my goal is I have a template that's already created and I want to give a copy to each student in the class so that they have their own copy of the template and they will then add their information onto the template slides. So what I've said is to click open to access the template and create a presentation on the four P's of marketing. I'm also going to attach an article and a video as well as the rubric for this particular presentation. So let's go ahead and attach the files. Now I have both the template for the presentation and the rubric in my drive. So I'm going to click the drive icon and that's going to bring up my drive. Now I can go ahead and search if I know what the name of the file is called or if I'm a really good um, filer and I've uh, sorted those into folders, I can access the folders. And so I know it's in my marketing folder here. Here is my presentation. This is the template that I'm going to give to each student and I want them to make their own, to write their own information on their template. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. And here's where I need to uh, select what I want the students to do with this file. This is a template that I have put together and I want each student to add his or her own information to that. So I need to change the access level to make a copy for each student. That keeps my original template in place um, with nothing added to it and each student in the class gets a copy of the template for them to be able to add their information to. Now I also want to attach the rubric for this particular assignment. So I'm to go back into my drive and find the rubric for this assignment which is right here. In this case this is a rubric so I need the students to be aware of what I'm going to be grading in the assignment but I don't need them to each have their own copy. So for this one I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Students can view the file. That means they can open it, they can look at it, but they can't make any changes to it. Now I've also said that I am attaching an article and a video for reference for them. So I need to go ahead and add those two things. So the article is linked right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this link. I'm going to go back to Classroom and I'm going to choose the Add Link option. And I'm going to put the link to the article in there and I'm going to say Add. The video I found on YouTube, so I'm going to go back to YouTube, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to grab the link to the YouTube video. I'm going to copy that, come back to Classroom, and this time I'm going to use the YouTube video option. And since I know what the address is, I'm going to go ahead and select Earl and paste in that address. There's the um, video that I want to use. I'm going to go ahead and click Add That. So all of these files will be attached to this particular assignment. Remember, I can set a due date and I can also assign this to multiple sections if I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and click Assign. Now, once we go ahead and do that, you will see here is the template, here is the rubric, here is the article, and here is the video that I have attached to this particular assignment. Now this looks a little bit different on the student side, so let me switch to a student account and show you what it looks like on their account. Here is Sue, and the stream was updated, so we'll go ahead and hit show. This is the, what the assignment looks like from the student perspective. So I have the rubric linked, I have the article linked, and I have the YouTube video, but I don't see the template that I have provided to my students. If your students read the directions, notice that I said click open to access the template. So on the student side, in order to see that template, that document that you created and had Google Classroom make a copy for each student, the students will have to click open to access that template. And so I put that in the directions. So hopefully the students read the directions and they know that if they click open, they will then have access to the template that you created for them. And here it is right here. Remember, I said that after the name that you give the assignment, the student's name will be visible in that file. So that's why you want to keep those titles short. Here is the um, file that Sue will start working on to create the, that presentation. 
And when Sue opens that assignment, she still sees the directions here. She sees the rubric and she can access that. She can visit the web link that you provided and she can also watch the video that you provided. So uh, when you um, have multiple files or multiple things that you want to attach to one assignment in Classroom, Classroom does a really nice job of having keeping all of that together for the student and it's easy for the student to access. So if we could go back to the teacher side, we can see here, this is what it looks like on the teacher side. All of those files that you attached are listed are listed below the assignment directions. It looks just a little bit different on the student side. So don't be afraid to use Classroom and attach more than one thing to each assignment. I've attached a presentation template, I've attached a rubric, I've even given them a link to a web article and a video. So go ahead and use all of those options when you are creating your assignments in Classroom.